Now to the important stuff. Uh, wins over new Big Ten opponents, two and a half. That's the over-under. Over. Over? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm also going to take the over. Uh, we asked this question last year, uh, but I think, uh, I think we'll ask it again. Will Penn State have a Heisman Trophy finalist this year? No. No. Uh, no, I'm not that optimistic. I'm not that optimistic. <laughs> Will Penn State make it to Indy this year? Is that where the playoff game, the championship the big, game is? The Big Ten championship game is. I'm going to say no. No. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a no. I think, I think it's a no. I think they're th- solidly maybe the third best team in the Big Ten on paper right now. I think that's where I'm at with it. That's about how I feel with it. I think I can't decide between Ohio State and Oregon. I'm fascinated by all the pressure that's on Ohio State this year. Mm-hmm. Um, but maybe check back with me later on. But I, I, <laughs> this is the dog's to start barking. Uh, I, I, think it's, I think it's a no for me right now. Um, okay. The big one. Will Penn State make it to a playoff game? Yes. yes. I am also yes, Steve. I said yes last year. I was wrong. But I feel much more confident in the 12 You got better odds this year. I have much better odds this year. I have much better odds. All right. Over under games in December in Beaver Stadium, 0. 0.5. <laughs> I'll take the over. He's going to take the over. Well, because they're not going to be one of the four best teams in the country, right? Right. Okay. Right? So, so then you're stuck. You're hoping they're, if you say they're going to make the playoffs – they got a better chance. They got a chance. They got to be somewhere between five and twelve. So you got a fifty-fifty chance. They're at five and eight. Five between five and eight. So I'll say yes. I'm gonna say no. Okay. Look at me, Mister no. Optimism. Again I'm gonna this say year. no. I'm gonna explain at, why. Wow. Here in a second. I'm gonna explain why. All right. The last question. The, the moment everybody has been waiting for. That they've sat through this podcast to hear because they because really? our opinions matter the most. That's exactly why we do this podcast for now. Entering five yeah. seasons. What is Steve's 2024 Penn State football record prediction? They're going to be 11 and 1. No. Who are you and what have you done with Steve Samson? <laughs> they don't. Come on. They look at this. They they go to West Virginia and beat a team that everybody thinks is going to be trouble. They trouble. No, UCLA at home. Uh-uh. At USC. No, because I didn't do this math and I need to look. They are whatever the crazy number is against non top ten teams. Like they're crazy good. They're good against they're again good against good teams. There's what top ten teams are on their schedule? Ohio State. Right. Right? So there's their one loss, eleven and one. Wow, I'm flabbergasted. I did not think you were gonna say eleven and one. I really <laughs> did not. I'm I'm the negative Nancy. I'm gonna say ten you and two. You were negative last year. I know. No, I, I was year. eleven and one last year. I was eleven and one last year, I think. I, I'm I I I can't move off of ten and two, and I will write this and explain this logic deeper later this week. I, it very much is like I think I I do agree. I hear your point about them being very good against non top ten teams, maybe even top fifteen teams. Like they they take care of business when they're supposed to take care of business. Right now, I can write on a piece of paper and list out the nine games that I feel confident that they are in, nine to 10 games that I feel confident that they are in. I get, I get anxious about the fact that they, um, they have this West Virginia game and you were hyping them up and, and before we started talking, but I am mildly anxious about that just because there's a, it, it feels like there's a lot more unknowns. There's also maybe, Maybe we're just putting too much thought into everything that's happened this offseason there. I think the Wisconsin game, as I mentioned, could be a tricky one um, because it's a tough place to play. I think the other one that that worries me then is Ohio State, obviously. And I point blank that the the USC game is going to be difficult because it's an in-season West Coast game. This is really the first time in my lifetime they've gone West Coast in the middle of the season. How are they going to handle that? I think they're going to be prepared because James Franklin is very prepared, but who knows how good USC is right now. Um, so I just, I can't move off of 10 and two mainly because of that. And then the fact of 
they've been ten and two for however many years. Like even when they haven't been ten and two, you know, I, I'm I'm just stuck on that. So. And I just did the math. The, the 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 math makes it probably ten and two, but under Franklin taking out the top ten opponents, like, mm-hmm. take out top ten opponents, they're eighty five and twenty two. So they're effectively eighty five for a little, a little less, a little less than eighty five percent. I mean, so there were twenty. There were twenty games against top ten teams. So that's two seasons. This is his what tenth season. So whatever. But still, I just I, there's not. I mean, again, Wisconsin could be good and jump up in the rankings. I, I don't know. I just. I guess that's why I'm not super concerned okay. about West Virginia in the opener. Like, there's enough talent there. I'm, they got thir- they got 13 offensive coaches for 11 position players on offense. They better score some points this year. That was the most Steve thing you've ever said. That was, I know that was so Steve. Uh, I'm I'm surprised. Okay, I'm glad we we talked that through. I, I genuinely I did not think I thought Steve was going to say 10 and two and and and. and Explain what I explained, and then and that's it. And he did, and he said eleven and one. I'm taking him, Mr. Optimism, this time of year, all the time. Wow. Uh, have we switched bodies? No. Okay. <laughs> no, not unless you've got like sore shoulders and no, everything else. I'm yeah. good. I'm good. Okay. 